Hi y'all. It's Linda Allen at Big Spy Linda. Thank you for stopping by today. Uh, we're going to make a beautiful deco mesh wreath for my friend Misty. She's a realtor and she just sold a house and she likes to um, reward her new buyers with a beautiful wreath for their new door. Um, so we're going to get started right away. First I'm going to cut the tag off this work wreath. This is a 15 inch work wreath form. It's already got the ties on it. I love working with these. It measures 15 inches from the each edge all the way across. When we're all said and done with it, it'll be about 24 inches wide and very poofy. It's elevated and um, they make a beautiful, thick, beautiful wreath and it will be way too big to go between a storm door and the main door, so be prepared to put it on your storm door. All right, so we are also gonna use this beautiful iridescent uh, foil mesh in that pretty, this peach, coral, whatever. I just think it's so beautiful. And um, I got this from Craft Outlet. I think that's right. Might have been general wholesale. And then I got this beautiful ribbon. Look how pretty this is. This is from Hobby Lobby. I just fell in love with it the other day. Thought, oh my, I gotta have it to go with that mesh. And then of course we have some extra that I'm gonna maybe throw in. This is just a plain uh, beige canvas ribbon. And then, but this one's got a little bit of gold sparkle to it. And I bought these, you can see Christmas, um, Easter, Bought these last year at Michael's. All right, so we're going to get started here. And today we're going to use the um, cruffle method. And um, going to be cutting this mesh about 30 inches long. You know, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would like it if you would uh, appreciate it rather. If you go over and subscribe, join this community. If you hit that little bell icon, it'll also give you a notice whenever I do a live feed or I upload um, additional content. I'm new to YouTube, and if you subscribe, you'll let me throw my channel. Alright, I'm going to um, zoom zoom in here a little bit, move this around so that you can um, so you can see what I'm doing. And um, see if I can do this. Every time I do this, I always end up throwing my phone on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna put the mesh on my um, handy dandy spool holder here, a uh, mesh holder. that my absolute wonderful son-in-law made for me for Christmas, along with this beautiful table. You can't see it because it's covered up with the mat, but um, my table is huge. It's like three by six, and um, my son-in-law made it for me. It's amazing. He's amazing. You don't have to do them together like this, but you know, it's very efficient and um, get twice as much done in half the time. All right, we're going to cut right here and make a nice smooth cut. And then we're going to bring this out. And like I said, I want to do about each 10 inch mesh comes on a 10 yard roll. So that's 30 feet. We're going to um, cut these at 30, mm, yeah, let's say 30. We're going to cut them at 30 inches. Okay, I'm 
pull it out a little bit further so that I can come over here and cut. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love this. We're going to put one in each. Um, in each for each tie. There's 18 ties. On the work wreath, the standard work wreath, there's 10 on the bottom, 8 on the top. Wants to stick together. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. That's eighteen, and um, hopefully that'll be enough. I'm a little concerned because this is real, this mesh is really thin. Right. When you're working with, let's turn. Back over this way. When you are um, working with deco mesh, you. Um, the closer you get to the center of the roll, the curlier it is. And you want to use the curly part on the outer ring. Um, all right, so whenever we make the um, cruffle method, you can I just put something heavy on there, lay it out. Usually your foam works real good, but hey, we're using foam. Can we see here? Okay, so you're going to take a couple of little curls. Two, three. Use a little chip clip. Put that in there. Let's flip it around. Move the scissors out there. Do a couple more little curls here. One, two, three. And then you want to wrap. Can you see? Can we see here? And then just ruffle it up. Put that edge. Pull out that chip clip. And then look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so sparkly. Oh my goodness sakes. All right. Open up your twist ties. And you can put it in um, either way. I like to put it in with the curls up top. Twist it a couple of times. Spread it out a little bit. And look there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But you know what? I forgot to open up all my ties. So let's get that. Let's get that done. That'll make it a whole lot easier on us. One of the things I didn't show you is I um have some really pretty coral, peachy color flowers, and I'm going to um, I'm going to add floral to this to this wreath. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. 
Let's see if we can move this just a little bit more. Okay. Maybe, maybe so. All right. Two, two, three. It makes curls, but really at the same time, it just kind of tucks that edge under so that you um, you don't have that frayed edge. See, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Again, you can put it in. You can put it in upside down this way, or you can put it in this way. I like to do it this way. My friend Misty is also a school teacher, but she's been a realtor for a long time. And in fact, she sold my husband and I this house um, nine years ago when we moved back to Texas from Colorado. Her son Alex and my grandson Nicholas are the same age. They've been at school together ever since kindergarten. They're both are 21 now. And they have were the bestest of friends for the, you know, they are good, good, good friends. Every time Nicholas comes home, him and Alex get together. And we've spent um, a lot of holidays, especially Easter, with Misty's sweet family. Okay. Missy has two other kids. She has a daughter that uh, is graduating this year, and she's going. She's been accepted at the College of Choice, and she's going to go into the nursing program. And then that just leaves baby Ashton at home, and baby Ashton is in junior high. <laughs> and Ashton shares birthday. With my oldest daughter Melanie and her and Misty are extremely good friends. But anyway, Misty is was one of my very first customers, and um, she buys quite a few wreaths from me. And uh, I love making wreaths for Misty's front door because she has one of the prettiest doors I've ever seen. She her door makes my wreaths look really good. Her husband, Adam, was my grandson's baseball coach for the longest time. This, this family just has a whole lot of ties together. We love them very much. Very blessed to have good friends. She has the cutest little mama. I just love her mama. All right, you guys. Again, this is a uh, 10-inch. Iridescent Poly Deco Mesh. One, two, three. We're, uh, I cut them to 30 inches. And we are doing the um, cruffle or the woodland ruffle or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, just curl it under about three or four times. And then just ruffle it up in the middle. I'm really hoping that this is going to be thick enough because it's it's beautiful, but it's pretty thin. I'm wondering if I should have maybe used a... We'll see. We'll see how it looks when it gets done and if we think we need to go back and change it out. Then I guess we could do that. I'm Linda Allen, and this is Reads by Linda, where we make beautiful deco mesh reads in the comfort of my garage.
This is where my craft room is. I'm new to YouTube and um, trying to get my channel established. So if you would please, if you like what you see and you want to follow along with making additional wreaths, happy, happy, happy to share my craft with you. I'd love it if you would reach over there and click that subscribe button. Like it, share it, tell all your friends all about it. And um, if you hit the little bell, it'll let you know next time I upload new content or if I, um, not if, when I go live. I'm getting there. <laughs> Yesterday, I um, made a decision that I was going to um, bite the bullet and make three reads and three videos. Very new to doing this. Well, I didn't know to put my phone on. Um, well, the first one I made was really long. I wanted to, and, and this seems like this one's probably going to be pretty long too. I wanted to see how long it actually took me to make a wreath from start to finish. People ask me that all the time, and I don't have a clue because I usually stop and take a break. So, but I did not realize, because I am a video virgin, I did not realize that I had a pause button. So, I'd stop it. And every time I stopped it, then I had a, then it would, you know, the next, when I would start it back up, it wasn't unpausing, it was starting a new video. So I have like four or five sections. <laughs> so anyway, then um, during one of those sections, um, the second video, uh, was going to be smaller. It was going to be shorter. It wasn't going to be, I, I have some bases that are already made up and I've just never finished them, never added ribbon or whatever. Anyway, I was making a really cute one and I didn't realize that you had to put your phone on do not disturb. And I got a phone call right in the middle of it. Again, I hadn't figured out about the pause button. So when I went to, um, get rid of that phone call, I um, stopped the video. So when I thought what I was doing was unpausing it, I actually stopped it and um, proceeded to finish, but didn't realize that I wasn't recording. That was frustrating. <laughs> so, then last night, I decided to do number three. And had told my husband I was going to be busy all day. And he was in charge of dinner. So, he decided he was going to go to Chick-fil-A and get us dinner. Which was so nice. I was so excited. I'm making a video. I'm all excited. I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A for dinner. Yeah. And right in the middle of my video when my husband left, the Bluetooth kicked in when he started the car. And my Android Auto app kicked in and kicked me off the video. So, I am not techie whatsoever. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this or not. <laughs> We're going to chop. Miss Lori over at Hardworking Mom is my YouTube mentor. And um, let me tell you what, she's got her work cut out with me, that's for sure.
So, um, what do you do? Do you like to craft? Do you, you make wreaths? What do you do? I used to think that, you know, I, um, eh, I wasn't really a crafty person. Yes, I am. I've been crafty all my life. All the way back to when I was a little girl and I made pot holders. Remember when we made the pot holders on the loom? With the stretchy material. Loved it. That was so much fun. I just loved it. I don't understand why kids don't like doing that today. And they were good pot holders. Okay, let's move some of this out from under here because it's catching a hold of everything. And, oh, let's see. I was thinking I was shorted, but I wasn't. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. I just love how pretty it is. You see that? Isn't that yummy? Isn't that look yummy? I think that even though it is thin, I think it's going to be a-okay once we add the ribbon. This this particular ribbon is really wide. I think it'll be okay. Um, okay, we're going to these ties here on the inside. So are you new to um, videos, YouTube, crafting? I've been making wreaths for about six years. I um, I saw a couple, you know, and they see them at Michael's and or I'd see them on Pinterest. Pinterest. Our, our lives totally changed when Pinterest came out, didn't it? It was like all of a sudden there's all these fantastic ideas. And of course, you know, you can you can do so many things, you know, and then I had a and next thing I knew I had like I don't know. Six hundred pins and um all these things I wanted to try and do. And that of course every time I saw one I thought Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Well, anyway, I wanted to make a couple of decorations. wreaths. I thought, yeah, 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 I can do that. I used 21 inch. I made the curls. And they were humongous. Huge, huge, huge. They were cute, but they were big. So, anyway, sweet lady at Michael's showed me a couple of techniques and I just started Googling and looking for all different ways to make decalmanche wreaths. And um, I found a lot of wonderful sites. Uh, Julie Siamako, I think I said it right that time, at, over at Southern Charms. And she mostly focuses on grapevine wreaths right now, but uh, now, but me and her original decalmanche wreaths were, they were, glorious to die for. She still does some every now and then and in fact um, I'll be copying one of her methods for adding floral to deco mesh for this particular one. But anyway, she uh, learned some things from her, especially um, I love her bow videos. I'm not good at it, but I love them. I like it. It's very informative and I'm sure that um, you know there's a lot of people out there with good bow videos and um, I think each of us just has to learn in our own way. Practice, 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 right? And you know, I did a couple of um, shows and I, uh, one of the tips I had been told was um, sell bows. Sell bows. Sit there and make bows and people will buy those bows from you. Well, you know what? Ribbon is expensive. And you you can't just sit there and make bows. I thought my bows were very reasonably priced. In fact, they were way too cheap for what I paid for the ribbon. And um, I didn't sell near as many as I wanted to. And then I got the problem of when I come home, now where am I going to store all these bows? Because if you can't pack them into anything, they'll get flat. So, who knows? I have to rethink that one. 
you know. Maybe just have a couple and then have your ribbon there. And if somebody walked up and said, you know, hey, I like that. I want a bow out of that. Maybe I could do it that way. Anyway, anyway. Found some videos, especially um, Trendy Tree. Trendy Tree is amazing. They have so many wonderful videos. It shows you how to do all kinds of things. And Jeannie is, um, she's just amazing. She tells you how to do it, how to, uh, shows you all the materials. And, um, and then she did, sometimes she even likes to share the pictures uh, of the different wreaths from other people in her community, not just her own. But Jeannie and um, her daughter are fabulous wreath makers. Of course, there's Miss Laurie, hardworking mom. I'm so happy I found her. I found Lori about six six months ago started following her and as she likes to say she's the bomb and um, I'm extremely blessed that she that she's here learning a whole lot from her from the other people in this wonderful community and I can't wait till next summer Wreath Makers Live, it's in Dallas, in my own backyard, kind of, neighboring. Anyway, I don't like to go to Dallas, but I'm going to next summer. That was my early Christmas present. My husband bought me. I already have my room reservation, and I know I live over here, but it's okay. Because those of us that live in Fort Worth, we don't like to go to Dallas. We don't, we don't like to drive over there, and you know... I'm, I'm sure not getting up every morning and driving over there in rush hour traffic. So, nope. Got a hotel room. Just stay over. And I can't wait to meet Lori and Julie and Katie and Damon. And I could just go on and on and on. There's another lady I can't wait to meet. Her name is Linda with a Y. Just like me. Shipped, is that right? Linda Shipped, something like that. Some of the people that have been on here, there's Brenda with Creative Busy Bee Custom Creations or something like that. Um, there's Sue with Merry Memories. I love Sue. Love, love that. Can't, all these people I just can't wait to meet. I don't think I've met any of any of anybody. I haven't been to a Wreath Makers Live convention before, so I'm all excited. And in case you were wondering, I am not going to make you watch me do each and everything. Get to watch me do this. And then um, our Cut a couple of ribbons, or I'll go ahead and do the ribbons, and then um, show you how to do a couple of them. And then the same thing, tie a few on, and then we'll pause it. And who knows, I may not be back in time. I have a couple of errands to run today, so we'll probably try to use our handy-dandy pause button, or else I might have to... Splice together two videos. I don't know. Have to make a video so that I can learn how to do editing and optimization. And um, I am nowhere near that yet. <laughs> because I haven't been able to complete a video yet. So, this is a practice run. We'll see. Maybe I can get something of value that... Lori can help me do something with it. Again, we're using a 10 inch mesh, cut it to 30 inches. This is called a crumple method or a um, woodland ruffle. Sorry about that.
you know this is a this I think is supposed to be coral or peach like I said but um, you know what it looks like to me it is ballerina pink man this is it's beautiful <laughs> I love this and it it makes me think of my oldest granddaughter, Miss Alyssa, who's up at college right now. And she, but she danced ever since she was three years old. And um, I sewed many ribbons on her ballet, on her point shoes. And, you know, ballerina pink is more of a peachy, cor a peachy coral. It's not a pink pink. This is definitely ballerina pink. looks like a big tutu oh my okay sometimes you have to pull it up on the sides to make sure that you know you don't want anything smashed in there and they're propped up against each other it, it just um I'm just loving this oh my goodness sakes look how pretty this is I just love it you know what on my end it looks a little thin but it doesn't on your end does it no nope. and exactly right this thing this baby measures out to 25 inches and um hang on hang on It's probably about eight inches deep, I say. Yep, probably about eight inches deep. Do y'all ever get these paint sticks? This one is really cool. It has all the has a marking on it and everything. It even has a handle in here. Me and my mom would have liked that when I was a kid. Okay. All right, here you go. This is where we're at right now. Okay, I'm going to um, cut some of the ribbons and uh, I'm probably going to cut them 12 inches long. And I'm going to get that done. And uh, But I'm going to pause right here. My husband and I have a couple of appointments this afternoon and I'll be back later to finish up. Thank you for watching. Again, again, if you, if you want to come back and you want to see the end of this, Click on um, Wreaths by Linda. Go over there. Subscribe to my page. Click that bell button. It'll let you know when, I, uh, when I'm back. Yeah. If I upload new content or I do a live video. And uh, we'll continue to make beautiful wreaths together in the comfort of my garage. Thank you.